Weeds or pest plants can have serious economic, environmental and social impacts. Weeds reduce crop growth, compete for nutrients, water and light, harbour insect pests and pathogens, damage the aesthetics of the plant, reduce the ability to apply crop amendments and can be one of the most significant input costs to production. To minimise weed control costs, nursery managers need a whole-of-site integrated weed management program involving an understanding of both target weeds and available weed management options. Weed management plans should be structured to prevent the introduction and establishment of new pest plants, prevent the spread of existing weeds to new areas and reduce or eliminate existing infestations while ensuring resources are effectively and efficiently utilised. Understanding the life cycle of the weed forms the basis of the weed management plan. Weed management strategies should be selected to be cost effective, practical to implement and wherever possible incorporate integrated weed management to reduce or eliminate weed infestations. Prevention is the most cost effective method of weed management. The first step in implementing a weed management program is the structured monitoring of imported plants when they arrive the monitoring of production crops each week and the surveillance of the nursery site every fortnight. Clean areas should be regularly monitored and resources applied to areas as required. The results of all monitoring activities should be recorded and should initiate management activities. All imported green stock and material should be inspected on arrival, be found free of weeds and held within a designated quarantine area. Growing media should be sourced from an established, reliable and reputable supplier and stored to prevent weed contamination. Shade structures, barriers and windbreaks can help reduce the amount of windblown seeds from outside the production area. Water supplies should be filtered and disinfested. Growing surfaces should be established to industry best practice, efficiently drained and well maintained to minimise conditions favourable for weed establishment. Nursery surrounds should be maintained free of mature seeding weed species. Irrigation should be scheduled accurately to meet crop needs. Staff should be trained in hygiene protocols, weed identification and removal techniques to minimise the transfer of weeds and weed seeds. Tools, equipment and machinery should be regularly disinfested using approved methods. Only new or disinfested used nursery containers should be used and stored appropriately. New potting should be set out in prepared, clean production areas. Work schedules should be managed to ensure work is carried out in the most weed-infested areas at the end of the day, to minimise weed and seed transfer to clean areas. Weed infestations should be targeted before weed species mature and disperse their seeds. Follow-up treatment should be applied to production areas where the weeds have been removed. These areas should be regularly monitored to gauge the effectiveness of the management strategy. Weed prevention strategies can be supported by the sensible use of pre- and post-emergent herbicides, hand weeding and where appropriate mulches. Eradication of existing weed infestations is costly and a drain on human resources that could be engaged in other productive areas of the nursery. Eradication often involves the manual removal of weeds with the potential for occupational health and safety issues from the repetitive lifting and bending actions. Larger containers and the surrounds of growing beds and production areas are most often managed with herbicide applications. Non-production areas can be regularly mowed to prevent weeds maturing and developing seeds, or they can be treated with heat or flame. To maximise the efficacy of herbicides, it is essential they be applied uniformly and chemical groups rotated according to label directions. Liverwort can be a troublesome weed for many production nurseries. Liverwort populations can develop quickly and thrive in areas of low light, high humidity and high nutrition. Liverwort spreads through rain and irrigation splash, making this a particularly difficult weed to manage. Growers have had success in managing liverwort infestations within production nurseries by using the following strategies. More information can be found in the nursery paper 
Understanding and Managing Nursery Weeds. Available on the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia website. Industry best practice guidelines provide valuable information and instructions on developing and operating an efficient production nursery. This video has been produced by the Nursery and Garden Industry Queensland and supported by the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia, the Nursery and Garden Industry Association of New Zealand and Horticulture Australia Limited. Special thanks go to the following businesses for assistance in producing this video. For further information contact the Nursery and Garden Industry Australia or the Nursery and Garden Industry Association of New Zealand.